Good afternoon, everybody. It is 636 here in Florida. And blessings to everybody. Okay, you guys. I just want to bring you some very important news. And uh, don't go anywhere. Please watch the entirety of this particular video because, oh my goodness, you guys. The Holy Spirit, I believe, is speaking loud and clear of what's going on and what's going to happen here very, very soon. Okay, so... I'm going to start with, I'm very, very tired. My back is still hurting me, you guys, so I'm pretty exhausted. But um, a few hours ago, I was sitting here and Fox News was talking about how they are uh, evacuating Americans out of the, uh, out of Ukraine and how they believe that, well, war really could be happening you guys very very soon uh so that was the first thing and the next thing i want to share with you is a couple of nights ago amanda christian and i were talking on the phone and uh, yeah we do that a lot uh, and she was talking about how she was led to ivan the terrible <laughs> okay and about um, the Holocaust and about, um, you know, internment camps. And she was also talking to me about EMP. She was talking to me about her dreams and uh, Chernobyl. And then the next night I was talking to Paul and he was telling me that he had had a dream about Amanda, and I'm going to share all this with you, uh, but before I go uh, to my email, you guys, I want to also share this with you. Late last night, you know, I was just sitting here after doing a whole bunch of work and everything that I needed to do and trying to catch up, and there's so much, and Elaine, honey, you've sent me so many awesome things to share with everybody, but they're not good things, but they're just things that people need to know. And uh, just bear with me, sweetheart. I'm going to try to get all this out in the next few days, uh, if I can, okay? And, well, last night, I was sitting here after doing a whole bunch of different things, y'all. And I look up, and on the TV was this. Chernobyl disaster as we watch. And I immediately thought about Amanda, and I thought, wow, I just, I'm going to watch this. Normally, I wouldn't watch something like that, you guys, but just unbelievable. Because, you know, uh, she had that um, audible uh, saying that it would be just like Chernobyl. And it's such a horrible disaster that happened over there in Ukraine. It was Ukraine at the time. It was part of Russia. And uh, there was a leak and even to this day, that particular area over there is deadly. It's deadly. Even though the grass has grown back, the trees are growing, the animals have come back to that area, it's still very deadly, you guys, and it's not good. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, is we're going to go to a few things that Paul has shared with me today. So let's go there, y'all. Okay, so he sent me this. He sent me a few things about what's going on right now. And Dabu has done a video on uh, the satellites that uh, we feel is happening in real time according to his dreams. Okay, you guys? And also about the truckers. And that's going to be in another video, okay? Now, he says, hope you feel better praying for you. And thank you, sweetheart. He's talking about my back, you guys. Uh, had a dream the other morning and Amanda was in it. I was watching a news program and there was something the news broadcaster was saying was coming from space and was getting ready to fall and it wound up hitting Washington, D.C. It was a satellite, I think, and I heard something like Pelham Electronics. Then I was watching a commercial plane and the people on board lost all of their electronics on board. iPads and phones didn't work. 
the people started parachuting off the planes. And uh, he says the end of it was Amanda was warning people and predicted everything that was happening. And last thing I heard was me saying, Paul saying, wow, Amer Amanda Christian is really something, right? And he was saying that because he was, he, he meant it like, G. Manini, she has so many things that come true, y'all, and has come true throughout the years, and right now is coming to fruition. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what uh, Pelham means. He looked that up. Let's go there. Okay, he says here, and of course, that dinner bell has to ring, y'all. Uh, he says, also is trying to figure out the Pelham electronics. He says, Pelham 123 movie. Uh, and then he says, this is the definition, and I believe this meaning is used in scripture. Any thoughts? And this says, uh, Pell Ham, and it's talking about electronics, you guys. So what it's referring to basically is, well, let me read the definition first. Okay, it says, a horse's bit, which combines the action of a curb bit and a snaffle. Now, I was talking to Amanda, and Amanda is, of course, she's a country girl, you guys, and she knows things I have no idea about, <laughs> And because I'm from the city. I'm a city girl, and she's telling me that a snaffle was something that they used to try to train horses, and it's very, it hurts them. It's a bad thing, and it makes me angry when I hear, hear about these things. Uh, it hurts my heart, and, um, well, again, this is a horse's bit which combines the action of a curb bit and a snaffle so to me this is talking about i believe maybe the red horse of war you guys and um just pretty interesting because it was pell ham electronics so again we are looking at something that's going to happen about the electronics of what's going on. And then my husband, uh, the satellite, you guys, and we're going to get there in just a second, okay? And my husband was telling me this morning, just out of the blue, he was talking about how um, there were solar flares coming off the sun, okay? And then I found out that uh, Dabu had done a video on that. And so, well, anyways, let's go there. Okay, so... This says here, SpaceX says a geomagnetic storm just doomed 40 Starlink internet satellites. And this was 19 hours ago, y'all. And uh, it's showing this right here. And now remember, there was something coming out of the sky in uh, Paul's dream. And Amanda Christian, well, apparently it had something to do with what she had been talking about. And she has talked about an EMP with me two days ago. And I also found a dream, and I might play a little bit of that. But, um, well, the number 40 here is pretty interesting also, you guys, because Amanda, Lashar, and myself have all had the number 40. We've all had two 20s in our dreams. And I, I found that pretty interesting, too. And, um, well, let's go to Dabu's video. This is Dabu 7. We have an event that just took place in subspace where all these geosynchronous satellites from SpaceX have been orbiting. But they're saying 40 of them are now out of commission, either burning up in the atmosphere or knocked out of their orbit due to this big geomagnetic solar storm that's incoming. Now, this was projected to hit Venus, then Earth, the way that they're all rotating out there and the way that this is coming in. But apparently these are SpaceX's high end, high speed internet satellites. Who this is going to affect down below, I'm not sure. But in terms of these things crashing to earth and causing any damage, they say that they should all burn up in the atmosphere on reentry. We'll see if that's the case because with so many going up in the orbit, if it's going to happen, we're going to see it at some point with with this debris making it down to the ground, not burning up all the way. And if it happens once, I would say that we could expect to see it many more times. 
with this incoming, they're saying that this could affect some of the radios with this G1 class geomagnetic storm. So it's going to cause auroras to kick up as well. And if you see any other disruptions out there in terms of power grid fluctuations, which there is an alert for, it's because of this incoming system, more than likely. But I'm going to leave links here and I'll update as we see more. Do keep in mind that we have two big time. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to one more thing here. Okay, so Amanda put this out January 23rd of this year. Let's take a listen, you guys. Hi, guys. Well, I'm going to come on and share uh, some dreams that I had a few years ago, and I think that is pertinent to right now. Um, and I believe it's by the leading of the Holy Spirit that I'm doing this video today. Um, so a few years ago, well, first, let me just say, me and Sister Sherry were emailing last night. And she had sent me a couple articles about um, China and Japan and America and Russia. And... Um, she was talking about the dream that I had with Putin and the woman and a samurai in the barn. At least I think that's what she was talking about, referring to my dream that I had. And I was thinking, and then I told her, I was just thinking of that dream a couple days ago. Because, and I'd have to share this in another video. Because I was told in a dream a couple days ago that the white horse's legs are bleeding. And I was told that I was shown that and I could. And since then, you guys, I found out that, uh, Russia on their flag. And I can't remember who told me, and I'm so sorry, sweetheart, that I can't remember. It was one of the commenters, you guys, and it was, uh, quite a few days ago. Um, uh, and she said that, yeah, that's Russia's flag with the white horse on it. I was like, Oh my goodness. And I told her, I said, this dream makes so much more sense now. So anyways, here we go. See it written in Spanish. And then it made, and then it made me think about the third, because that was a three-part dream. The last part of that dream had a horse uh, that his leg had been cut off, but it healed over. And then I started, so with her article and everything, and then I, I was just like, and by the way, you guys, I just found this today. I went and looked, and this is what popped up when I put a, a search in on Google when I was looking for EMP, Amanda Christian's Dream EMP, and I think Tribulation Period is what I had in the title. And as you can see, it says Chernobyl, Ukraine Nuclear War Dream 2017. And again, she did this on uh, January the 23rd of this year, 2022. And I found this immediately, and I was like, oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's listen. And then I started thinking about this dream that I had um, where I heard the Lord say it will be just like Chernobyl. And, I, and then I went to go look that up. I was like, wait, because I saw something about the Ukraine. And I was thinking, wait a minute, is that in the Ukraine? And I looked it up and yes, it was part of the Soviet something, something or other, but it's Ukraine. And I was thinking about this last night. I was like, so in my dream, I saw people wearing hard hats and they were running around and it was like chaos and it was like, looked like a nuclear type place. And I heard the Lord say it will be just like Chernobyl. And then I heard the Lord say, cause I had to go revisit this dream. I, sometimes I, I leave pieces and parts out cause I can't remember, but I heard him say they will not enter in. 
And I knew he was talking about their kingdom, his kingdom. There's a lot of them that would not enter in. And it's not like they couldn't enter in. It's just that they didn't want to. They didn't want to believe in Jesus. They didn't want to call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. <clears throat> and then I saw, so as I'm looking at this, I look over the landscape and across, it was like I could see across the seas and the land in the distance and these gemstones and diamonds started flying at me. And there was one massive one in particular. It had to have been like 15, 20 carats. It was massive. And it was a blue sapphire. And I think that's when I heard, uh, like right before that, they won't enter in. But it will be just like Chernobyl. And that's in the Ukraine. And then my husband's dream of being in the military, fighting over there on the border of Ukraine, Czechoslovakia, Poland. Um, that's right there at the borders of Russia. And so um, I was reading an article about Chernobyl and they were saying that it was a hundred times worse than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And so I'm thinking about all this, my, you know, as I'm meditating on different things, the Lord, I'm reading scripture and all these things are coming to mind and in between, um, sister Sherry's emails and stuff. And, and I'm just like, wow, this is, it's, it's going to be terrible. And look what's happening over there right now. It's, it okay, you guys. So again, it sounds like it's pointing to the tribulation period where he's saying that the Lord is saying uh, that they were they will not enter in and it will be of their own accord. They choose not to. And uh, so to me, that's like saying everything's getting ready to start, y'all. We're going to be raptured and they're not going to enter in. And, um, and the beast system is going to be rising very uh, rapidly. After we go, uh, remember, we must leave first for all these very, very bad things that are fixing to happen uh, to come upon this earth. We, the church, have to be gone, okay? Uh, we are not appointed to wrath. We're not appointed to the hour of temptation. Um, but we are the Philadelphia church. We are the church, the brotherly church of love. Uh, meaning that we are born again in the Holy Spirit and given a new heart, a heart to love God and to love one another. Uh, and that's what it's all about. It's about love. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to share all this with you that's happened in the last few days. Now, I have more coming out. Elaine, honey, I'm trying to get to everything you sent me. And there's so much more to all this, you guys, and about the woman in the barn being tied up in Japan and Taiwan and I have found more uh, things that's going on about that. And it just seems like, because you got to understand that there's that dinner bell, you guys. <laughs> uh, that in her dream, in that particular dream, Putin was off doing something. Okay? And uh, he's supposed to be heading the UN. Um, actually, I think he's already doing that right now. I believe... I could be wrong, though. I believe he started on the 28th, and he's supposed to go for 28 days, okay, in, um, yeah, February. It might be March. I'm not sure, though. Don't don't take my word for it. You might you can look it up yourself. But um, it was either it started this month, which I'm pretty sure it did, um, right on the 28th of uh let me see. No, the 20th of uh, February, I believe. Anyways, neither here nor there. Uh, he was off doing something that could also be in reference to Ukraine and what's going on there. And then also we have what's going on with Japan and Taiwan and China. And there's just so much. Also, there's things going on in Damascus. I was given Damascus uh, being utterly destroyed. That'll be, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Around the time of the rapture, the Lord told me, 
I'm sorry, y'all. Anyways, God bless you. I hope this has blessed you. Keep looking up. We're getting ready to leave. Uh, Y'all have a beautiful and wonderful and peaceful day in our Lord today, knowing that the time is very near. Anyways, God bless you. Amen and amen.